there everybody, you join me on another beautiful day, it's about 25, 26 degrees today and the dampers are done so I'm going to go and collect them. And as I said before, because this place is actually like so close to the green lanes I always take, I've decided to come this way because I just know this way better. Why not? Oh, it's quite steamy though. Yeah, they basically gave me a call this morning and said, all done, seals replaced. It was basically exactly what I thought it was, thankfully. <laughs> Friendly old man. Uh, it was indeed those O-rings down in the bottom. So uh, they have been replaced and he says all is good. So I've just got to go and get them, just stick them together, stick some oil in the outer, which is a lot easier to measure because it's like 350 mils, not 182. Muddy. Um, and then I can basically put the bike back together. I was about to indicate then why the hell was I going to do that? God, they really haven't trimmed this. <laughs> ah, the butterfly in my face! There's birds and butterflies and bees and flies and God knows what. See, it wasn't the back green line, but that really is like a dusty road. Apart from it's a bit bumpier. But yeah, I, I am so excited to get this bike back together because I've done, you know, I don't know how a lot of people do these things, but I stripped the bike and then did all of the prep work, all the painting, all the servicing, everything. So now in theory, it is reconstructing the bike. In theory, I could probably do that in a day, mostly. I'm not going to, because I've got a few other jobs to do along the way, and I won't be able to say much if I do the entire thing in one video. But soon, the Derek will be back. I'll be back to getting some bikes, hopefully, to do some reviews on, and everything will resume as to normal. Yay! Oh, come on. beams on somehow. Why don't I click that? Do you ever go on your bike on a day like today and start thinking, oh god, something doesn't quite feel right with the front of this bike. It feels a bit weird. It's called grip. <laughs> Let's see, random things to talk about. Uh, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Seriously, I did a video about Loch Ness, Loch Ness Monster a long while ago about how they'd done scientific testing on the water and found that there was nothing in there DNA wise it was unusual uh, and then a few uh, yesterday I saw a picture put up that said sighting the Loch Ness Monster blah blah and I'm looking at this picture and I'm like really that does look interesting so I took a little closer look on the image zoomed in and I'm like okay something doesn't it doesn't look right it looks weird well it didn't take much research to find that someone else had already worked out that there was something wrong with this image and realized that it matched up with the skin pattern on a giant catfish a famous photo so yeah, um, nice attempt at sparking the tourist industry, gotta say. Um, but I do feel like you might need to strategize away from the prehistorical non-existent creature just because future-wise they will disprove that it's ever there and then you won't have a tour tourist industry unless you want to continue trying to put... Although then maybe the people that go there know that there's no such thing and it's just the fun of experiencing this place. That butterfly is eating crap, probably wants the salt. The other thing is, as you know, I've done a video talking about great white sharks on the south coast, um, which was a, a, there was a joke video, not many people got the joke part of it, and then there was an actual video which talked about the likelihoods of great white sharks being in our waters. But anyway, this morning on the local Facebook group, someone put shark attack over the east side. Now, my instant reaction to that was, that is amazing. That is a reverse Loch Ness monster. That is a get away from the beaches because we're sick and tired of you all coming here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know an area needs tourism, tourism and we need the tourists, but we're in a pandemic and more people are coming to the island than ever. The other night, the queues went off till 11 o'clock at night. However, I don't know, maybe someone annoyed a dogfish and they got a little bit of a nip. <laughs> it's possible, but I suspect it's probably complete bull and it was an attempt to get people to stay away from the beaches. Thing is though, if people aren't planning to go in the water, it might just attract them. That looks like a doggo's ball. 
And the doggo lost his ball. What was that? Oh, it's a yellow hammer. I haven't seen one of those for a long time. You can always know a yellow hammer when you hear one singing because it goes, little bit of bread and no cheese. <laughs> Seriously, that works out. They don't actually say a little bit of bread and no cheese, but they do say, A -da 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 the facts that I can give you aren't I cool. Wow, well, because of these bushes, you really can't see. Birdies, keep away from my face. Again, I'm being astounded by just how quiet it is up here. Normally there'd be cyclists and horses and walkers and all these sorts of things. And the, the roads are dead. It's because they're all at the bloody beach. And I do like the fact that I've seen that the um, someone, health secretary maybe, I can't remember exactly who it was, said it. I'm, I'm not looking at the news a lot at the moment because what good is it going to do? <laughs> Honestly, one of them made the suggestion that, you know, we can close the beaches. We can you stop you going to the beaches. Go on, try. You try and close the beaches. See if people pay any attention to what you say. Sure, yes, some will. But most won't, because most have ignored you to this point to be going to the beaches in those numbers. Let's not get into that one anymore. The tables have turned. May Crotch will get that one. <laughs> See, how could a car be better than doing this on a bike? I don't get it. <laughs> Regarding my recent video. Um, it hasn't even gone live yet. It's gone to Patreon, but it's not gone to online. And I know I realised I was pretty... I, pre I talked down a little bit about cars. And I know some people are like, Hey man, I drive a car. I get that from a car. Screw you. Um, and I appreciate it. I shouldn't have been so clinical with my saying. But it's from my opinion of my passionate point. I don't care about cars. Oh. I didn't have much else for choice. <laughs> I was not going to try and go through that gap. Okay, guys, so I got the dampers back. It was exactly what I thought the problem was, and they haven't replaced any other parts. Everything else is completely fine. So that sucks a little bit because that means that replacing two seals and a bit of forecoil has just cost me 110 quid. However, if I had only replaced the seals and then found something else was wrong, this would have been delayed more. So I kind of did this for speed rather than money. I kind of wish you found something else in there, but then I would have had to pay for that as well, so I guess that's... But in the grand scheme of things, when you put that into the rest of the budget, it will fade away into ins insignificance, as it were. I mean, I think I've put in, personal money-wise, I think about £500 has gone in, something like that. And obviously, we just had to get these done, so... Yeah, it's, it's not been entirely cheap. Uh, I wasn't looking to spend this much money, but with the support of you guys, it's been impossible to do. It's, it's been very close. But some very supportive people have come along at just the right moments and been like, dude, I want to help you out. So thank you. When I was bringing these ones down here, some people made some references to Deadpool. I, I get the references. I, I, I get where you're coming from. I do have Deadpool patches on my leathers, if, if you didn't know. I'm quite a big fan of Deadpool. I've just realised it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I've not eaten anything yet today. Or drank anything either. Jesus get some lunch on the way home sort a few bits and pieces out I think I'm going to spend this weekend with Reno uh, and then Monday I'll start getting the bike back together am I going to put the forks back together today now I'm sat behind this and I'm thinking about coming from the other direction that thing fills the entire road he's doing about 30 
that's why I'm so cautious when it comes to these roads and like try not to go too fast around them. But even, even at the slower speed that I go around some of these corners to see around them, you have to wonder, if he was doing 30, well, I hope he'd, he'd slow down for the corners, of course he would, of course he would. So I forget we're on straight. Now I'm just thinking reaction times and stopping distances. Like, could you actually stop in time? You're not going down there, are they? Oh, you are going down here. Whee! Is he going to turn off or is he going to go all the way up here? This is actually now interesting for me. I don't care that I'm going really slowly. I want to see this track to get up this, this really tight line. Oh, no. What a nice guy. Thank you, my friend. He is coming this way. But he was just going to let me get through. Thank you, mate. What, no, what a nice gent. What a lovely gent he is. Are there any cars coming? God knows. Screw Screwin! Screwin! I know it's completely dead and empty out today, but I still just think, well, there, but there only needs to be one car. It's like in a war. There's billions of bullets flying around. There only needs to be one that comes a bit too close to you. Horse poo, gravel, God knows what. Dappled lighting. Massive potholes. So, like friendly and human this is the world I want to, I want to live in this world the quiet world where everyone's like friendly and smiley and nice you know people who do repair work give you the parts they remove just so you can be sure that they actually did the work <laughs> no little birdies I don't want to take another little birdie out I may have taken one out this morning I'm not entirely sure it was in the road it was right next to my wheel as I shot past. I looked back, I couldn't see it, but it seemed like it flew towards my wheel and I'm hoping it somehow managed to get under the bike or reversed its direction and I'm not gonna find it partially minced and wedged somewhere in the undercarriage of Divi. I'm gonna take the green lane back because it's not bad at all. And it's actually a reasonable shortcut, I think. And if it's not, it's more fun. What's <laughs> ours? If you had sausages made of horses, would they be called horsages? <laughs> it seems far more likely I'm going to meet walkers down here then, because there was quite a few down around here. Let's take it slow. Could I interest you in a tasty salad? If I can find one that's not a bramble. Mm, this one? I missed. Oh my god, my salad collecting skills have been ruined. 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 Here, have some salad. Mm, clean your screen. Mm, that's not your screen, it's your eye, whatever. be somebody somewhere oh come on god did it boy you know people say the xj6 is suspension is too soft for a sports tourer and uh, it might well be but it, maybe you should see the touring side as more as the off-roading side maybe this is a gs in disguise this is not a gs in disguise i promise you <laughs> this costs a lot less <laughs> just kidding Oi, easy now 
I do always wonder about like the original story of this bike. Like, you know, it, once it was a new bike and someone bought it and they had it for some time and used it. And, and then I think it was sold to, uh, I can't remember if it was sold to a couple of people or if it went then to Hazemere. Then it was their, their courtesy bike. And so actually, because this bike was a courtesy bike, quite a lot of people have ridden it. It's just, it's interesting, the stories that Divi has. And it's interesting how it went from, from being a courtesy bike, living outside, not that loved that much, to owned by me and Green Lane. <laughs> if only bikes could tell you stories, they'd be the most amazing stories in the world. You're not coming around here, so why are you indicating this way, doofus? not even that busy getting on the island but that's probably because everyone's already here <laughs> anyway huge thanks uh, for your support as always as I say and I will catch you all next time when hopefully I'll be getting on with this bike if you enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to see future videos this channel is made possible by the support of the audience please consider joining my patron to get early access to videos questions answered in the monthly Q&A your name on screen and some exclusive content all for as little as a dollar a month you can also check out the links in the description to my merch and other ways to directly support the channel. Thanks for watching.